when I'm stressed, eight beans one at a time. This is phenomenal. He cracked up the world's most fascinating people as host of the Russell Howard Hour. Do you want to have uh, a sleepover around mine? <laughs> He filmed his blockbuster stand-up special, Lubricant, just as COVID-19 hit. So many anti-vaxxers in this country. Most of them are my cousins. <laughs> I'm not sure about the vaccine. You took ketamine at my wedding. And the doco Until the Wheels Come Off followed his attempts to keep people laughing as the pandemic struck. We ran out of Marmite a few years ago. Shit, man, ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the headline? Marmageddon. <laughs> What a country. Now Russell's announced he'll be back next year for a big, beautiful tour of the Motu. Woo! Oh, oh, that's good. Joining us live from London, please welcome comedian Russell Howard. Hello. Hello. Uh, third time in New Zealand, hey, Russell. Hey, uh, have you been practising your water bombs, your manus, like we saw just there? I've practised some manus. I haven't done any possuming lately. That was my favourite thing. <laughs> I, I don't was even in know what that Dunedin is. Dunedin, and mate, listen to this. So I was in Dunedin, and forgive my attempt to at your accent, but this this guy in the pub said, "Mate, have you ever done a possum?" And I said, "No, I haven't." And he said, "It's a drinking game. What you do is you climb a tree, you drink as much as you can, and if you fall out, you're a possum." <laughs> <laughs> we well, like to keep the game yeah, simple so. here in New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, don't yeah, do it yeah, at mate. night near a road. And then he ran off. It's, yeah, well, exactly. I was thinking, if you're trying to car sit and one of your children sees you in a yellow car, is that tricky? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's sort of inception yeah. level there, Russell. <laughs> uh, now, now, Russell, you've interviewed yeah, yeah. Some, some incredible people for your show, the Russell Howard Hour. It must have been nice to make Greta Thunberg laugh because mm. she's relatively serious. Yeah, she went off. It was like, it was like a video of a hamster because her, 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 she was a real grunter, which is kind of my favourite lady laugh, you know, when it's like... <laughs> like, but it's... When, when you make a woman really laugh, it's a bit like tickling a dog. There's always a sweet spot. And then the dog really starts oh. kind of going like that. And I, I managed to... Uh, I managed to really get Greta in the sweet spot. Um, yeah, it was odd. We didn't really talk about... We didn't talk about the environment. Yeah, there's a better way of putting it than that. But we didn't really talk about the environment. We just had a laugh. It was fun. <laughs> well, Greta, in that clip we just saw, talked about um, de-stressing by eating a single bean at a time. We've been talking about car sitting, mm. as you just heard. What do, what do you do to relax, Russell? What do I do to relax? I, do you know what, this is, I've never admitted this, I really like watching earwax removal videos. <gasps> oh! I find it un, yeah, I, I, I don't know why, but I, I was doing Sheffield Arena and there was 10,000 people waiting and we did the show late because I was watching a Chinese man have his ears cleaned. <laughs> 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 but it was... The most calming thing. I bet Beyonce does that before gigs. <laughs> Is that a Kiwi t-shirt? I'm a blackhead. I like to watch blackhead popping myself. I th uh, yeah. I, yeah, but I'm with you. Yeah. yeah. Is that, have you got a Kiwi t-shirt on? I have, yeah. Look at that. All right. Oh, that's cool. You could, you well, could get because the last out time, that thing, The last you? time I came... Um, mate, the last time I was here, um, I had to do two weeks in a hotel before I was allowed to perform. And it was the greatest two months after that. It was just incredible. So, uh, yeah, I love New Zealand. It's a joy to come back, man. <laughs> well, lots of people uh, cannot wait to see you, Russell. Can, we, um, can you tell us a little bit about what they can expect from Russell Howard Live? Uh, just loads, loads of jokes, uh, loads of stories, bit, bit of politics. You know, it'll kind of blend. The thing is, the show ends up changing as you sort of travel around. Like, I remember last time we were in uh, Tauranga, if I'm pronouncing that right. Oh, Pretty yeah. good. And um, a, guy pulled up in a, a guy pulled up in a truck and he said, oh, you're my, uh, my wife's celebrity crush. And I said, OK. <laughs> and he looked at me and went, what do you reckon? <laughs> And uh, I, I said no, but I, I felt compelled to talk about that at the show. It, it would have felt odd to not 
reference that. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it, it kind of changes from place to place. Like when we were in um, Rotorua, just finding out that Rotorua is called Rota Vegas, despite the fact it doesn't have a casino. <laughs> like, how are you not going to chat about that? It's hilarious. <laughs> well, Russell, look forward to the shows, and I do believe they finish with a possum, which should be exciting. Uh, Russell Howard, thank you very much for joining yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See you later. <laughs> so, Russell is coming back to New Zealand in February 2024. Tickets for his shows are on sale now, and we've got a link on our Facebook page.